welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, today we are doing another little weekend travel vlog thing, which I always love to do, so I'm so excited. As we know, I'm terrible at intros. So what you're about to see is in the past. I already filmed it but I gave no context as usual. In this vlog, we are going to Houston again for another fitness event. Surprise, surprise. I am accompanying Miss Julia Renee. You guys know her well by now. She does not need an introduction. And also our friend Katie, who is a vegan coach. Both of their socials will be down below as always, if you wanna know a little more about them. Anyway, we are going to Houston for the summer shredding event. For those of you who might not have ever heard of that, basically it is a bodybuilding show slash transformation show put on by Christian Guzman, who is the owner of Alpha Lee, Alpha Land, 3D Energy, and I'm sure other businesses I don't even know about. Even though I lived in Houston for a few years and went to Alpha Land pretty regularly, or I guess it was just Alpha Elite Gym back then, it wasn't like the full-blown Alpha Land that there is today, um, I never attended the actual summer shredding event, so I'm really excited to watch the competitors. It is always so much fun. I love bodybuilding shows. I used to compete, as some of you might know, and sometimes it like brings that itch back, so. Just saying. The coolest part of this show, in my opinion, is like I said before, it's not just a normal bodybuilding show. They also have something called the transformation category. And these competitors in this category underwent extreme weight loss to step on stage. So some of the competitors lost like upwards of 100, even 200 pounds. And they step on stage and like their before photo and their story is playing on the screen behind them. And it is so emotional and so beautiful. And it has been a few days since I got back home and I'm like still so inspired by all the competitors that competed. We also got some workouts in that I filmed and some of our food and just some fun girl time. Love to see it. Like I said, I'm bad at intros, so this is kind of it. When you're about to see me, it is very random clips, okay? I'm a little sporadic, especially when traveling, so I think I just picked up the camera randomly and like started going about my day. You guys haven't seen my new car yet. I got it literally yesterday. Here is the car in all of her glory. It is white leather, which is terrifying for me. I am setting a rule now. No food, no doing my makeup, and no coffee. Because we all know that I am just a disaster waiting to happen with those things. The only negative to this new car, because everything, chef's kiss, 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10 actually, and I keep finding new features and I'm so impressed. It is so well made. I'm obsessed. It also like almost drives itself. So the road trip from Austin to Houston went by like that, which is saying a lot because I come here quite often. But the only downside is I had the perfect place to put my camera in my old car. I like could nestle it into the corner of the dash where I could film myself and drive. This dashboard has no place for you guys. So I do think I need to finally invest in one of those like suction cup things to screw my camera in because I spend so much time in the car and I would love to just yap with y'all while I'm driving. So we're gonna be ordering one of those tonight. I also need to order a custom license plate because mine has a bad number on it and I feel like I'm cursed. So I'm ordering that also tonight. Just came back to the most magical sunset I've ever seen. Look at that. We are doing an H-E-B haul because I bought way more than I needed. Let's do the little breakdown. We got Tampons, these were a non-negotiable for obvious reasons. We got little razor blades to shave our face because my skin is just doing something right now. I don't know what it is. So I wanna like shave my face and douse myself in castor oil and see if that fixes the problem. Sweet potato, ground turkey, rice, little rice cakes in the apple cinnamon flavor for obvious reasons, veggies, grocery store sushi, do not knock it until you try it. H-E-B makes some decent sushi. I got a tiny little baby Cholula and then I got back to the house and saw that Julia also brought one. Great minds think alike. Little baby hair ties, cause I somehow lose all of these all the time. I swear I buy hair ties like once a month and I'm like, where are they going? You know? Cause I don't even put my hair up that often. So I'm like, huh? And then the only reason I actually went to the store <laughs> is this. Something this tiny equated to all of this, but honestly, I needed this. Julia's in prep right now, so we're not gonna be eating out very much. I like to stick to my normal meals anyway while I'm traveling. That way I have like my bloating and my gluten and dairy intolerance 
regulated. I'm not really risking anything if I'm cooking it myself. But anyway, the reason I went is I forgot my lip pencil, which is the NYX pencil in natural. People always ask for my lip combo. I am always wearing this and some sort of lip gloss. Anyway, that is it. I have not eaten much today. I'm gonna down this H-E-B sushi and then I think I might cook up the rice and turkey and veggies. We'll see. I just ingested so much wasabi, I think it could kill a man. But I can finally breathe through my nose. So that's a plus, I guess, but I almost just died. I like how perfect and proper and organized and labeled Julia's food is. And like, then there's me, literally eating the sushi with my bare hands. Hello. Good evening. Do you guys want to see a skincare routine? Because I promise you, it is going to let you down. I use two products. Okay, and here we have CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. Basically a face wash. I use this at night. I don't do anything in the morning. Please don't hate me for it. And then after I wash my face, this is filled with castor oil. Saving grace. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of my skin two years ago and my skin now. And when my skin was really bad and breaking out a lot, um, one, I was eating things I was intolerant to and didn't know that, which was obviously making me inflamed. Two, my hormones were out of whack because I was a competitive bodybuilder and under eating a lot. And number three, I had a seven step skincare routine and I kept changing it up. I kept trying a ton of different products and most of them were really stripping because when you have acne, typically you're pushed things to dry out your skin when in reality, a lot of us are lacking moisture. That's all I've learned. Now I keep it super basic and super hydrating. The results speak for themselves. This is just me trying to de-influence you because I feel like we're in such a uh, influencer world where it's easy to want to buy all the products under the sun. Anyway, the girls came home from the gym. We ate dinner and we watched Hannah Burner's new stand-up special on Netflix, which is so freaking funny. Please go watch it. And then we watched some episodes of How I Met Your Mother. And now we're going to bed. Do you guys ever have a period of time where you just don't feel like yourself? Like you just don't feel like that girl, like that bitch. And then you wake up one day and you slay your makeup and you're like, oh, I'm back. Oh, my whole personality's back. You can't tell me shit anymore because that's how I'm feeling today. I woke up, I showered, I shaved my face. <laughs> um, I don't dermaplane super often, though it does have a lot of benefits. But when I notice that my skin is like extra dry and flaky, like it's time. And like I was telling you guys in last week's video, um, I've been in the sun a lot this summer and not wearing enough sunscreen. So I've definitely burnt in my face and like that leaves just like, a layer of dead skin, not to get too graphic, shaved that right off, shaped my brows, slayed my makeup, I feel good again. I don't know what the plan for the day is or if we even have one since the show is not until tomorrow, but what I do know is that we need to go get coffee. So let's round up the troops. You guys look so cute. <laughs> you guys are just perfectly working. I'm like laying in bed still. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I should probably have my hands on the wheel if you're filming. I'm just yeah. like, hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. <laughs> We're driving to Dutch Bros. How are we feeling? Excited for coffee. Yeah, I'm so excited for coffee. Katie was like, this is the one thing that I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Literally me. Every the day. experience. And coffee and gym are my two things I yeah. love the house for. And food. And food. Small iced vanilla latte with oat milk. Light ice. Light ice, okay. Yes, please. Okay. It's gonna cook. We just got back from Dutch Bros. I got an iced vanilla latte with oat milk. What did you guys get? They had complicated orders, to be honest. <laughs> Wait, look at Julia's. First off, bigger than my head. Texas Second size. off, is this black coffee? Because I simply could never. It's a cold uh, brew with no ice. The no ice is, I think, what is throwing me off. Yeah, because I don't like it when it dilutes it. Zach and I are completely different. When he gets a drink, he wants extra ice, and I'm like, you're a serial killer. Um, I have sensitive teeth. 
I don't like so it. Can. What's today? Uh, sugar-free vanilla latte with almond milk. Is it good? I haven't tried it their sugar-free. It's pretty good. Nice. Now, Julia's making breakfast. I might also make breakfast, which for me is gonna be more turkey and rice since that's all I bought, but that's okay. Is that chicken? Yeah. Ugh. So I'm gonna do chicken and, and your eggs. egg whites. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done that. It's already like 10.30ish, and usually by now I've already eaten my breakfast, but Katie and Kendall told me that I am allowed to wake up late today. <laughs> so, I gave my permission. I will get late. So I'm I'm putting the protein from my meal number two in with my meal number one. So I'm basically just combining meals so that I don't miss my my protein. So I'm gonna let my little chickies cook and then we're gonna put some egg whites on it. Can you see that? And maybe it'll be nice because I'll have more food. Also brought my entire makeup bag. We are ready for the gym. I think the plan is Julia and I are hitting upper body. Katie has a powerlifting meet next weekend, right? Next yeah. weekend? Okay. So are you doing strong girl things? Yeah, we got deadlifts today. I like the She'll be pack. lifting heavy for Julia and I, who will not be lifting heavy. Really <laughs> close. Dude, a what? We just drove an hour to get to the gym and they're closed? <laughs> I see cars. They have to be open. Okay, so, okay. They might have lost power, I they bet you. Damn. This whole <laughs> week has been a shit show. <laughs> Everything that can go wrong is has going wrong. wrong. And it's kind of funny at this point. Like yesterday, it was the same. So what should we do? <laughs> Bro. Before I start okay. crying. How close? <laughs> Not the way Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Katie's not freaking out the most because before we left, Katie's she like, like I packed 40 meals with her and was planning every increment of every I, minute. I, 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 I was like, at least I'm the chill one. I don't really care what happens, but are you doing okay? Like, okay how Update, we're going to be going to Roman Empire Gym instead, which is another 40 minutes. Another 40 minutes. Wait, should I call them? Yeah, please call them because if they're closed, I might lose it. I don't know. Well, what I was going to say is on the drive here, we were talking about how many great gyms Houston has, which is a plus, but also <laughs> Houston's all, huge. Yeah. So they're all an hour away from each other. So if you're like at one to find another one is not fun. In Austin, it's like, all, everything's like 10 if minutes. If you're in the center of Austin, it could be like 15 minutes to each yeah. gym or 20 minutes, depending on traffic. But. So we're going to Roman Empire, which yeah, is still a beautiful so gym. Good. Okay. We drove what? A total of two hours. Just <laughs> And we made it to another gym, and if somehow we open that door and they say their power is out, I think we might lose it. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright Hush I feel like I literally melted and became a new person while we were in there. <laughs> um, we took a lot of photos, which is exciting. I feel like I haven't taken gym photos in a really long time, at least not any that are postable or good. I try, but it doesn't work out. Um, and then Julia and I just got a little arm pump. Katie did her little meat prep 
Um, and now... <laughs> She prepped her meat. <laughs> now we, I'm, I need to find food personally before I die. That's the update. They're like filming things on my Can phone that we're doing. Salada. Well, that's a lot of. <gasps> we got Salada. There's Julia's. There's Katie's. Beautiful. I would eat anything right now though, to be honest. I know I showed you guys the sunset yesterday, but I simply need to show you again. Also, it is, let's check. What time did we leave for the gym? I don't know. Really long time. It had to have been like 1 p.m. We, we, I remember because we got to the first gym at 3.30. Okay, so we left here at like 2.30. Yes. It's now 8.30 p.m. Oh my God. <laughs> we have had a long day of literally just going to the gym. That's all we did. Anyway, let's go look at this sunset. I'm excited. I love being a woman is to be taking pictures of the sunset. <laughs> Are you I found this robe in my mom's closet. I dig it. I like it. It's so cozy. What kind of dog is on that? Is it a dog? A lab. No. A Rottweiler? <laughs> I don't know. We're trying to find the episode that is coach what? coaching oh. Nick, right? Yeah. For those of you who watch New Girl, comment your favorite episode ever or your favorite character or both. I'm I'm to go there and I These are two of my favorite things. Three. I'm with my friends. I like it. Watching my favorite show, eating one of my favorite snacks. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I am currently getting ready so that we can drive Julia over to pre-judging. I don't know if I even said this. Maybe I didn't. If I didn't, I'm so dumb. Um, she has a client competing at the show. That's why we're here. I'm kind of here just for fun, but also to support her and her client. So we need to be with her most of the day. Her client is 18 years old. This is her first show. That is around the age I was when I started competing. So it feels very close to home and I am rooting so hard for her. Okay, here's what we ended up with. <laughs> I'm doing my little half ups, but they're like little, <laughs> this looks insane, little space bum babies. Do we like it? I'm almost scared to see how the back of my head looks like this. Ready? Jump scare warning. Is it bad? Please don't tell me if it's bad. Back of my head is none of my business. Here is the little outfit of the day. These are the, the stunny shorts <laughs> from my Amazon try-on haul, which are so cute and I wear way too often. Okay, I need to order other colors because I swear I've been wearing these in my last like three Instagram photos. <laughs> Center. This convention center is honestly beautiful. I think it's pretty new. I've only been to one other event here in Houston and it was like an AEW wrestling match. Um, we've already been inside. We watched some of the transformation category. Julia is currently with her athlete doing her hair and getting her ready and de-stressing her, I'm sure. So we walked around. There are several booths here for like local brands and big brands. There's Alphalee, there's Ghost. Um, and yeah, we're getting free samples, which is always fun. <laughs>
guys know what I'm about to say, the thing that's in my head right now. Ready? I have no idea. All I do is win, 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 after every person Sorry, won, third angle. they played the song win, 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 win. But it's worse. They played it, I think, as loud as stadium speakers can go. Like, as loud. I don't know who like was in charge. Long. I think that they had earplugs in because they had no <gasps> clue how loud it was getting in. Remember that lady that was sitting in front of us and plugging her ears? Mm -hmm. When I was leaving, she was actually sitting in a corner <laughs> like this. Like, it was that I, bad I by herself. Yeah, I yeah. have a headache, and I love loud music, so that's saying a lot. Kendall was like on the drive home. She's like, I don't want to listen to another another song like ever again. Literally ever. But she did. Our client, our client. She's our client now. She's mine. She won the whole thing. She got the overall trophy. She won her team category. She won the overall for wellness, and she got a trophy. She also got a five hundred dollar gift certificate, and she's. So happy she got to eat her cookie, and I'm so proud of her, and it's amazing. And I have to burp. It's delicious. <laughs> Don't lie to me. It actually, well, yes, it, yes, it does. Oh, it's done. I'm cooking. Oh, well, like okay, you have like two <laughs> You say it looks like dog food? Are dogs supposed to eat corn? <laughs> hey, are we looking at the owner of a new used car? No. Um, it's the next day. It is currently, I think, close to like 5 p.m. We woke up. I cleaned the entire house. Julia and Katie left this morning. My boyfriend and I, as you can tell, went to an Astros game. And on the way home, because I am starving, we got mod pizza. I'm about to sit down and eat this entire thing in one sitting. And I think I'm gonna time lapse it because I feel like as a girly myself who was always afraid to eat, sometimes it's nice to see other people eat and it'd be okay. And I'm hungry, I'm probably gonna consume all of this within the next 10 minutes, so. Let's eat. And typically, I'm a big crust person, but they burnt the fuck out of my crust. So we're leaving that. I always get the gnarliest pumps after like... <laughs> no matter how late, we did the damn thing. My boyfriend and I had to drive home separately since he drove down to meet me in Houston after I was already there for a few days with the girls. But we had fun at the Astros game. My head is pounding. I think it's a mix of training upper body, dehydrated, low on food, and with an IFBB Pro. <laughs> and also, the summer shredding show, I think I did say this already, I can't even remember. This whole weekend was very busy in the best way possible, I feel very blessed. But the music was so freaking loud at summer shredding that I think my head is still recovering. My brain is still confused about the trauma I put it through. <laughs> But it was a beautiful weekend and I'm so happy and it was really great having some girls time too. And that's it. I will see you guys next Friday. Please subscribe because so many of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed and that's just rude. I love you and I will see you next Friday. Bye.